morning adventurers. We are in Chiang Mai today and we are doing yet another cooking class. These are really becoming our jam. We just did one in Budapest. They're, They're really, really cool because you get to like uh, learn about the culture through all the food and plus we don't really know that much about Thai food. So we're really yeah. excited to do this to learn more about the ingredients that go into the food and the different types of dishes and how it's all grown and all that good stuff. Yeah and this one's going to be really fun because we'll get to go to a market but they also supposedly have a farm where they grow a lot of their own I think maybe produce and herbs. Yeah so, so we're going to be able to go to the farm and then use those ingredients to create our dishes. Yeah but cool. we're really excited to go do this and finally learn what some of these spices and seasonings that we've been eating since we've been here actually are because we eat a lot of stuff and we have no idea a if you're supposed to eat it or b what it is All so right, let's, let's go find it. out this class is actually in the middle of the walled city the old walled city of chiang mai which is this square area in kind of the middle of the city that has these uh, walls that surround it and I think a moat that goes all the way around mm -hmm. it all or it's around. more of a lake at, or more of a stream at this oh. point but uh it's really cool and there are tons of temples like at every turn and all kinds of really cool statues and guys we stopped at a coffee shop and they have a little bird that hangs with people <gasps> oh my god it's happening this is the cutest thing I've ever seen oh, he's all wet. <laughs> oh, oh. check him out Oh, you're trying to steal my ring? <laughs> Guys, I think it's true love. Got a bird on my head. Did you ever think oh. that would happen? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, I think he bit your hair. What is happening right now? <laughs> Let's see if this works. He's just biting your head. Oh, he worked. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. He really likes me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a little... <laughs> <laughs> so we got our coffee, but we um, spent way too much time playing with that little bird. And uh, we're actually headed to a farm where we're going to get, I think we're going to actually pick out all the stuff we're going to be cooking. But they're waiting on us right here. <laughs> Hello. But um, so before we go to the farm, I'm gonna show you around the market first to okay. show you about the ingredients and the seasoning. So first we've come to the market and I think that uh, our guide's gonna kind of show us around, tell us a little bit about some of the food and hopefully we're gonna pick up a few tasty items. The color is different level of the spiciness also you see. The green, yang chili, it's older red color. The red hotter than the green. But in the curry opposite, yeah. it has a green curry, fresh. The red curry, <laughs> dry. So this is just regular jasmine rice and we were wondering why they have different price if they're exactly the same and what we learned is that this rice here is a lot newer which means it might taste better but it doesn't go as far it doesn't make as much when you boil it this rice over here is older so it'll make like twice as much as this but might not have the same flavor super interesting i never realized there was so much complexity to rice <laughs> we randomly found these um i don't know if they're like bamboo or some kind of stalk but they've got these huge like horned beetles on there. They're literally on a leash. That's crazy. I, why are they? I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> we learned that those are fighting beetles and you literally just go and you buy a beetle and then they you put them next to each other, they fight each other and they rip each other's heads off. So there you go. So we've explored the market, we've learned all about Thai spices and ingredients, and uh, our guide picked up some uh, items that I think we're gonna be cooking later, but now I think we're gonna head to the actual farm. Right? Yes, yes, yeah. we're gonna head back to the farm and then hopefully cook everything and eat it all. So we've arrived at the farm. We have our traditional Thai cooking garb on. Yeah, I think it suits us pretty well, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think we've picked out all the stuff we're gonna make, and we're about to head into the farm and pick out the actual ingredients. So these are passion fruits, and uh, they're growing with these um, little flowers here. I think it's called butterfly pea, but if you remember in one of our earlier videos, when we were in uh, Chiang Rai, 
Allison got a blue latte and those were the, the flowers that they used to make the latte. They just kind of grind it up and then put some other stuff in there and it's pretty delicious. We're foraging our own butterfly pea flowers. I think I we're going to use them for like a garnish oh, in our dishes. Mine are the biggest and most beautiful. We've learned about all the ingredients. We have foraged. Now it's time to cook. Everybody first take garlic for yourself, two pieces. So we're deciding how spicy we want our dishes to be. She said Thai people typically take 10. 10. Yeah, so... So uh, you're gonna take 12, 13, is that right? Uh, how about one? <laughs> So we have prepped all our food. We got a little cooking demo from our host, from our guide. And uh, now we are going to cook our dishes. And I'm honestly a little nervous, you guys. I mean, I tried to pay attention, but I was also filming a lot of stuff. So yeah. you might have to help me with this well, one. Well, I was Instagramming all this, so. We suck. <laughs> so we learned that when you cook Thai food, you don't have exact proportions. You just use emotion to determine how much you want to put in there. So these are two emotional tablespoons of oil, I guess. <laughs> How you guys feeling over there? I don't know, pretty good. Yeah? You guys look like you know what you're doing. It's getting warm. And Eric's doing his emotional sauceing. <laughs> Two emotional teaspoons coming oh, right okay. up. <laughs> Alright, mine's all done. I got my rice over here now. Ooh. Hot some up. Alright. Looks pretty dang good. Yeah. Nice job. Well, look at me go. Alright, we are done and we are plating. So I made cashew chicken. I don't think it's supposed to be very spicy. And this is a dish we have not had yet. Look at that big mushroom. Whoa. I know I made it, but it doesn't really feel like I made it because I just follow directions, but I'm gonna pretend like I'm just an amazing chef now. Is it pretty good then? It's really freaking good. I made hot basil stir fry. So we've got basil in there, obviously. We've got some carrot. We've got little baby corn and some chicken and a bunch of delicious, emotionally proportioned uh, <laughs> sauces and spices. <laughs> Perfect bite. That was pretty good. I can taste the spice. Even with that one chili, it was, I picked the biggest chili that they had, but I only put one in, but it's a little bit spicy. Now we are rolling our own spring rolls. We've got a wheat flour uh, uh, wrap here. Yeah, <laughs> I guess good. we're gonna load it up. stuffed up the spring spring roll now you just put a little egg right here that holds it closed and then you roll it up and then it looks beautiful here's my look better than mine or yeah just yeah you beat me kind of <laughs> mine looks it's terrible fine. mine looks like a crappy burrito We're trying to decide whose spring roll presentation is well, the best. Um, I think we've already agreed, or at least I have, that uh, <laughs> mine is the worst. Uh, Nikita's turned out pretty good over here. <laughs> Not too bad. Allison's. Allison's is looking pretty nice. I think I like Allison's the most. Yeah. Karina's got a pretty nice looking spread oh, over here too. Though. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be worse than mine. Mine looks pretty horrible. I will agree. So Allison's uh, spring roll, I think, turned out the best. It looks really nice. Her presentation is spot on. Well, it's only because Cass are fearless leader did such a good job with hers, so I just copied her. Good, good. But I mean, I did it all with all my creativity. Now the best part, you get to eat mm -hmm. it. Mm. Oh yeah. It's like, it's, it's like pad thai in an egg roll. That's amazing. Now we've all got a soup that we're gonna be creating, and what we learned is that the soups all kind of start from the same base. Um, all of these ingredients we have here. I think this time around so I'm gonna put a few more chilies yeah. in mine because it wasn't quite spicy it. enough. We are making our curry paste so there's a ton of smashing and cutting and mashing going on. This is the fun part. <laughs> You're killing it girl. Yeah. I'm so yeah, scared. She's doing a good job. <laughs> it's starting to get pasty kind of. Now we are making our curry and inside of Whoa. this jug we've got half water and half uh, coconut, right? Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like vacation. <laughs> now 
now we're adding in the curry paste. Oof. Oh yeah. It's, it's gonna, gonna be so good spicy heat. and delicious. Now this is eggplant, believe it or not. Do that and chicken. Yeah. Nice. All right. You add more coconut mixture to make sure it doesn't dry out. Now we're adding two teaspoons of fish sauce. Seems like one, <laughs> two. <laughs> two emotional teaspoons. That's what the emotions are telling me. It's chicken. Believe it or not, this is a little eggplant and some basil. That looks it's pretty neon. Dang good. It looks it looks amazing. Oh, it smells all coconutty and creamy. That is delicious. Real hot. It's the kind that gets you way back in there, but it's really nice with the coconut. And luckily, I mean a whole plate of rice <laughs> to cool down with, so. <laughs> My soup is Tom Saw, I think. It's chicken, onions, lemongrass, ginger, basil, and then chilies and toasted rice flour, apparently. Basically, it's just really freaking hot. So I got two really hot dishes for my last two, which maybe was a mistake. I'm going for it. Let's try the soup. What are oh all my the God. things in that bowl? Crackers, like deep fried crackers. And they added some <laughs> Too spicy. Oh, really? Dang. Fresh I forgot. Another oh, ingredient sweet. is just whole crushed chilies. And she convinced me to put five in there. Five. <laughs> that, my bad. <laughs> but it's really good. It's got a lot of flavor, even though like it's water-based. It's pretty dang delicious. So I got the um, Tom Yum soup, and it looks like it's going to be pretty dang good. Um, got big old pieces of uh, shrimp up in there, and a bunch of other goodies. Oh yeah, shrimp and mushrooms. Ooh, <clears throat> a little spicy. A little bit, not as spicy as yours, which is great. Shrimp is delicious. Tons of, um, or there's uh, um, lemongrass in there, but not too much. Some of the dishes we've had have had way too much of the lemongrass in there, and it gets way too lemony, but this is really nice. This is the uh, cow soy, which is like a northern Thai soup dish. It's got chicken and curry in there and these crispy fried noodles. Those are my favorite part of this dish. You guys, this cow soy is just rocking my world. It's like a delicious bowl of coconut happiness. Oh, yeah. This might be my favorite Thai dish so far. Yeah. Wow, you guys, I am full. Oh my that was a lot we of food. Ate so much. That's the most we've ever eaten. It was just consistent before, eating throughout the whole day, oh, yeah. which was amazing. I'm pretty impressed with how our dishes turned out, honestly. I, know, I was a little terrified, didn't. but they supervised really well. Yeah, but also, if you are filming, it makes it a lot harder to keep an eye yeah, on true. food. Poor Eric was like trying to get shots and trying to keep his stuff from burning. You did a great job. Not too bad. Yeah. But we want to give a huge shout out to Asia Scenic Cooking Class. This has been an amazing day. Their farm was so cute. The market was cool. We learned so much. We learned so much about Thai food. It's crazy. Oh, and when we first so came much. to Thailand, we didn't really know much about it. So mm -mm. this has been a great experience. And we'll have a link to uh, their website in the description below. So you guys, when you're in uh, Chiang Mai, you can book this tour for yourself. And we really like that you get to pick your own dish. So you get to like figure out to make something that you've never had before, or maybe a dish you really like that you want to recreate, which is pretty cool. All right, but it's a little stormy. We're probably just going to go home now. So, good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.